I'm Scott Yates, I'm part of NAHS, and you're watching Tribal Review. Welcome to Tribal Review. We have five students who receive art scholarships. I'll have more coming up next. Also on the broadcast, you'll find out more about You've Been Accepted. Well, all this and more coming up on Tribal Review. At Big Frog, you can set up your online pop-up shop full of custom apparel. You can design a whole line of apparel, select your sale price, and customize how long your pop-up shop lasts. Visit our store at 2100 East Jackson Drive, Independence, to set up your pop-up shop today. Come to Descano's to get your pizza customized the way you want, served to you right from our wood fire stove. Let Renee and John treat you to a taste of Little Italy, located at 312 South Hudson Street, Buckner, Missouri. Hey, Fordham Stage High School. I'm Tristan Kander. March is National Umbrella Month, so make sure to grab your umbrella because you'll never know when you'll need one. And I'm E.J. Valdepina. Today is Thursday, March 21st, 2019, and here are your top school news stories. Four students earned art scholarships to further their edu education. Shari Lytton, Maya McAllister, and Brianna Branscombe got a $76,000 scholarship to Kansas City Arts Institution. Also, Taylin Symer got a $80,000 scholarship to Avila. The Varsity Scholar Bowl team finished 24-7 tournament in fifth place on March 16th, going 3-6 and six for the day. David O'Dell and Aiden McWilliams played as a two-man team averaging 39 points per game. The new You've Been Accepted poster board was put up recently. Renee Brownlee went in depth to see what it was all about. One in four students get accepted to six schools. Mrs. Breyer believes that getting accepted to multiple colleges shows how hard a student has worked. Um, it just kind of shows that um, that student put in a lot of hard work and um, it shows that they meet the requirements and qualifications for several different schools um, and so it doesn't impact a lot other than um, it just shows how hard they've worked. Some colleges require you to pay an application fee anywhere from $20 to $75. Drake finds that applying to more than one college gives him a better chance of being accepted. Um, I've applied to two different colleges, UCM and Northwest. Um, I initially applied to Northwest because of their, like the price was pretty low. And then I discovered UCM has a better computer program than Northwest did, so I also applied there. Standard students should apply anywhere from six to eight colleges. Emily feels that Jewel is her dream school. Um, I didn't really have a dream school before I visited any, but when I went to Jewel, I really liked it there. I just liked the environment, and I didn't want to go to a big school. The We've Been Accepted board is located by the small gym and shows all the students who've been accepted to colleges. I'm Renee Brownlee, reporting for Tribal Review. Thanks, Renee. Coming up, we'll have a feature story over the I Am Project. Stay on the line with us. We'll have more after the break. Culver's wants to welcome you to deliciousness. Choose from a variety of concretes, chicken strips, and crinkle cut fries that are said to be a butter burger's best friend. These meals and more will be prepared by Culver's welcoming staff. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time since 1984. Come in or carry out and let them serve you your next delicious meal. Welcome back. At the beginning of the year, students wrote on note cards about who they are as a part of the I Am Project. Tribal Review's Ashton Holler found out what the project was all about. I Am Projects have been covering the doors of classrooms since last semester. Grace Ilo feels that posters benefit anyone who reads them. So this is what student council put for their I am. There are lots of different ones and I feel like when people look at them they can relate so like not only the person that wrote it benefits from it but anybody who looks at it does too. Jamie Lyon and Amy Johnson created the project in Lee's Summit. Ms. Graham Cobb feels that this is something we should do it for. 
really resonated with me because I feel like it's part of what we do here at Fort. Um, we always refer to ourselves as Fort family and that we take care of each other and this whole program is about noticing the good in each other which I think is something that Mr. Moore, our principal, works really hard to do. And there are interesting things written on the posters. Gavin Harris enjoys them because they make him laugh. I mean, I just like the project in general. It, it uh, supports confidence and it's a good motivational thing. I, I really like it. Um, there was one that said, I am a wizard, which, you know, kind of made me laugh, but you know, yeah. You can also find similar I am posters outside in the hallway. I'm Asher Holler reporting for Travel Review. Thanks, Asher. Landon now joins us for this week's sports report. Hey Landon, it looks like girls soccer, baseball, and boys golf have started their seasons with some success. That's right. I'll have your Indian sports recap on the other side of this break. TLC Automotive is a local, fast, and great way to get your car fixed. TLC offers oil changes, brake checks, vehicle inspections, and much more. Contact Jim Carlson at 816-833-4411 to schedule an appointment. Mariner Collision is an excellent place to get any dents, scratches, or total cars fixed like new in a timely manner. The Carinders take pride in all work with every car, every time. Get your car repaired at Carinders Collision, located at 440 East Monroe Street, Buckner, Missouri. Hey everybody, I'm Landon Waters with your Indian Sports Report. The girls varsity team has started the season with a quick three wins over Ruskin, Oak Park, and Winnetonka. In their opening game, they beat Ruskin 10 to nothing on March 15th, with Ali Ayala scorching the turf with a total of six goals. Ayala continued her dominance against Oak Park by scoring four goals like this one that scooted through the goalie's legs at the 13:43 mark. To lift the Indians to a six to nothing win, over the Northmen, it was Megan Lyons' turn to have a scoring frenzy as the Indians toppled the Winnetonka Griffins 10 to nothing March 19th. Lyons had five goals and the Indians stand at 2-0 in the conference play and 3-0 overall. The varsity baseball team started the season with a 13-1 victory over Winnetonka. On March 18th, Ethan Gotch and Jacob Merrithew led the Indians from the plate by batting in three runs each. Merrithew also scored, secured the win from the mound, allowing no runs on one hit and striking out five Griffins. The boys' varsity golf team finished 17th at the Truman Invite on March 18th. Malachi Terrazas led the Indians with an 89, followed by Devin Morrow's 97. That's it for your Indian Sports Report. I'm Landon Waters. Tristan and EJ will have more at news after the break. Come down and enjoy Travel Perk Cafe, open in the morning from 7 o'clock to 7.30 over at the concession stand near the Varsity Gym, and open in the library during 4th and 5th hours. Enjoy a selection of beverages anywhere from 50 cents to $1.50 with hot drinks like tea, coffee, apple cider, and hot chocolate, as well as some cold beverages like iced coffee, Gatorade, bottled water, and a variety of frappuccinos. All drinks prepared to you fresh and ready to go. Welcome back. It's time for this week's Tom Tom Talk. Ashley Huff found out some of your spring break plans. Spring break is coming up. I went to school to find out what your plans were. I'm going to Florida with my best friend. Uh, over spring break, I'm going to be working for a farm and probably going to hang out with my friends. On spring break, I'm going on a vacation. The Bahamas. I'm going to Orlando, Florida and we're going to Disney World. Um, over spring break, um, I play competitive softball, so I'll probably be doing that and then hanging out with friends. I'm going to be with Saxon Milwaukee playing Fortnite every single day. Over spring break, I'm going out to Joplin to visit some family. I'm going on a Disney World trip with Miss Manessis uh, to all of the parks in Disney World. Over spring break, I'm going to compete with our host of club in Rolla. Um, I'm going to Colorado with my friend. Over spring break, I am going to be in Rolla, Missouri at the Missouri S&T campus for HOSA State Leadership Conference. What I'm doing over spring break is nothing. This is Ashley Huff reporting for Tribal Review. 
Thanks, Ashley. I'm going to Springfield to broadcast the baseball games. I am too. The Independence Rotary Students of the Month of March are Ty Baker and Megan Hall. Megan Hall is president of the National Honor Society. She is vice president of choir and a three-year member of Touch of Class. And she also was on the girls varsity golf team. She plans on attending William Jewell College to major in biochemistry and Spanish while participating in choir. Ty Baker is the other Rotary student of the month. Ty is a part of Stuco, football, and basketball. He will be going to college at Missouri State to play football and major in business. The high school named Miss Kim Manessis, the 2018-19 Teacher of the Year, Miss Manessis teaches art and sponsors the National Art Honor Society. She will be honored with the other Building Teachers of the Year recipients on April 11th at the reception in the Craig Administrative Center. If you're looking for more news and information about Fort Osage High School, you can find additional coverage at FOHSSignal.net. There you will find stories about the students and activities of the school, so check it out today. Spring break starts Friday, March 22nd and lasts until Sunday, March 31st. Travel Review wishes you a fun and safe spring break. Well, that's it for this week's Travel Review. I'm Tristan Carinder. And I'm EJ Valopina. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.